Hey everybody and welcome to the Pedal Zone and welcome to my Gear of the Year 2018 list! That time of year where I try to pinpoint my 10 favorite pedal releases out of all of the pedals I've had the pleasure of playing here at the Pedal Zone. Oh, and like last year, please don't take the ranking from 1 to 10 too seriously. All of the pedals are so different, but they all have one thing in common, and that's the fact that they freaking rule. And before we jump straight into it, I just want to start out with an honorable mention. Because I've dedicated this list to pedals, but where would all our pedals be without proper power? And that's where the new Seox DC7 comes into play. The Seox DC7 is a true pedal powerhouse, sporting 7 outlets with variable voltage selection and up to 660 milliamps of power per outlet. This thing has been a lifesaver and a space saver for me this year. Can't recommend it enough to anybody looking for solid power solution for their massive pedal boards. Alright pedal people, let's jump straight into it. My top 10 favorite pedals of 2018. At number 10 we start out with the Caroline Guitar Company Parabola Solid State Tremolo. And Caroline Guitar Company are just the masters of mojo. Their pedals are never the most intricate or deep devices. But what you get always sounds so freaking good. And the Parabola is no exception. The Parabola's unique sloshy waveform and inbuilt preamp section lets you create some of the most delicious and distorted dreamscapes I've ever heard. Heck, I would buy this pedal for the preamp alone. It just sounds unreal. At number 9 we have the Earthquaker Devices Westwood. And most people who know me know that I find drive pedals to be incredibly boring. Useful, sure, but just not that exciting. So even I'm super surprised to see a drive pedal on my list this year. But the Westwood just floored me this year and has practically been nailed to my board since I got it. From clean boost to low gain crunches and all the way to ripping amp on the verge of exploding distortion sounds. Westwood does it all with extreme string clarity and a ton of balls. At number 8 we have the Old Blood Noise Endeavors Reflector Chorus V3. And filming the Reflector demo easily stands as some of the most fun I've had shooting a demo all year. And that's when you know a pedal is truly special, when you're just enjoying yourself so much that you lose track of time. And with its three different chorus modes, which augments this classic effect with either ambient reverb, pitch shifting or moving filters, there's enough sonic depth to keep you inspired and smiling for years to come. This pedal is just a blast. And jumping in at number 7 we have the New Neighbor Immerse Reverberator Mark II. And when I heard New Neighbor were about to release an updated version of their immensely popular Immerse Reverb, I thought to myself, can they actually make this thing even better? Well, they could and they did it. They made a good thing even better. The reverbs are just deeper, more present and more lush. I could get lost in its dreamy plate mode and angelic shimmers forever. If you're looking for a compact, one-stop reverb solution, then the Immerse Mark II is it. At number 6 we have the Emma Electronic Navigator Delay. And I'm a certified delay nut, so it does take a bit to knock me over in this effects category. Especially when said delay doesn't really offer anything special feature-wise. But what the Navigator may lack in innovative features, it sure makes up for in sound. This is by far the most three-dimensional delay I've heard all year. And the way the dual delay heads and the modulation work together make for the most enveloping and atmospheric delay experience I've had besides the Maris Polymoon. You absolutely need to hear this thing in real life.
At number 5, we have the Earthquaker Devices Pyramids Flanger. And up until this year, I had always said that flangers just aren't for me. They're tinny, intrusive, and just generally way, way, way too much. Well, that was all up until I climbed the pyramids. And to be fair, pyramids is way more than just a standard flanger. It can do those sounds, but where it truly stands out to me is through its glorious alien chorus sounds in barber pole mode, wild and percussive sequences in step mode, and shooting flanger rockets in trigger mode. This has been my gateway drug, and I've caught myself staring lovingly at flangers from afar all of a sudden. At number 4 we have the Chase Bliss Audio Dark World Reverb. Now Chase Bliss Audio have had a great year with a bunch of really strong pedal releases. But the one to stand tall above them all is the Dark World and its dreamy textural reverb. The Dark World's two channels sound great individually, but the real magic happens once you combine them, seeing you unleash some of the most special and distinctive reverbs ever. Especially the hazy tape mod and glitchy shimmer reverbs are to die for. Now, starting off the top three, we have the Old Blood Noise Endeavors Dweller Face Repeater. And this pedal was a true breath of fresh air this year, as it brought a completely new effect type to life. Something that me and the rest of the pedal world had never heard before. A face repeater. Its innovative design runs a digital delay in between the stages of the phaser that's at the core of the Dweller. Seeing you go from subtle classic phaser and vibe swirls to pulsating multi-tap soundscapes or glitchy percussive creation is simply with the turn of a knob. Getting exciting now, at number 2 we have the KMA Horizon Phaser. And with the release of the Horizon, KMA proved one thing this year. They are no longer an upcoming brand. They are established and they are ready to set the creative direction for effects pedals now and in the future to come. Even though Horizon is labeled a Phaser, it's so much more. It's a deep sound design device that will let you unleash unique atmospheric swirls, twirls and pulses. And you just have to hear this spaceship in stereo. It's out of this world amazing. We've done it, we've reached the top, and there we find the golden child, Maris Enso Synthesizer Pedal. And I remember back in July when Maris sent me sound files of their upcoming secret pedal. And I was so confused because all I could hear in the sound bites were an amazing synthesizer. And I thought to myself, what is, what's the pedal doing to the synth? Well, the pedal was the freaking synthesizer. Enso is just miles ahead of any other synth pedal currently on the market and sports the most musical arpeggiator and most epic mono and poly synth sounds I've ever encountered in a pedal. And the tracking is just spot on. Maris have yet again proved that they are the absolute kings of the pedal game right now.
All right, pedal people, that was all for me this year and what an amazing year it's been. And I hope some of your favorite devices found its way to my list. If not, then you know what to do. Start a freaking flame war in the comments section. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Just uh, kindly and calmly drop your favorite pedal releases in the comments below. I can't wait to read what excited you the most in 2018. And seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your immense support this year. The channel would be nowhere without you. I can't wait to see what pedals we all get to rock next year. Stefan, signing out. Yeah.